Scorpio, thanks for visiting. This is reading for August the 27th to September the 2nd. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe, as I always say, or leave a comment if you'd like to. I have um, everything ready and I'm going to start your reading for lovely Scorpio people. The first card you have here passed is the Ace of Wands. So yes, I'm, just, I'm actually seeing um, a couple of things um, in this card. The first thing is, um, yes, you're getting your optimism back. You are getting your optimism back at this time. You had a lot of problems. You had a lot of problems before this. And um, you'd had your confidence shattered before all of these problems. So first you had your confidence shattered. And then you had a lot of problems kind of stacking on top of that. And that really left you exhausted. You had no energy, you had no confidence for a long, long time. And now at this time in your past, you're starting to get all of that back. And you're starting to see everything differently. Whereas, you know, before you are you might have even been a little bit depressed, actually. You were seeing things in front of you and seeing lots of problems. Everything was a problem. Getting out of bed was a problem. Every time you came up against something, you thought, oh, that's a problem. But now you're starting to get your confidence back. And where you saw problems, now you're starting to see, or you are starting to see possibilities in lots of things. So that was really good. You're getting that back. The other thing I'm seeing um, in this card is that I'm actually seeing a spark. I'm seeing chemistry between you and someone else. A lot of chemistry, a lot actually. So I'm actually seeing that, yeah, I'm seeing this as someone who you might have an on and off energy for. You might have, um, they might have been feeling something for you for a long, long time, but then you had this kind of lack of confidence, energy, you really didn't want to go there, you didn't want to think about any relationships at all or anything like that at this time. And now kind of they have these feelings for you, but they might not be showing them to you. I'm seeing this as a kind of a person who um, keeps a bit quiet about things. This is a person who's very smart. They can be quite strategic, actually, not in a manipulative way, but they're very, it's like they don't show their cards until they're necessary. So they might, you know, they're a very intelligent person. So they might have been thinking, well, they were getting these kind of negative signals from you when you kind of weren't at your best. And so now that you're, you might be ready or you might have been ready for them at this time because you got your confidence back, and then it might have been that then they were kind of cautious about you. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of on again, off again. I'm seeing you, know, you liked them and then kind of you cooled off and then they liked you. So there's this kind of thing going on. It's been going on for a while. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have, your past, is the Nine of Cups. So yes, you're feeling a lot more at ease with yourself, a lot more content, and this is really fantastic. So this is when, you know, of course, when you're comfortable with yourself, um, inside of yourself, other people find you a lot more attractive. They're a lot more attracted to you. And maybe that was why um, you were starting to notice them and they were starting to notice you, this person. But they were still cautious. They were still very cautious. Um, they were still unsure about things. I'm also seeing someone around you who um, might like to kind of show off a bit. They have a kind of, um, yes, they I'm, I'm seeing this is probably someone in your workplace, probably a work colleague or someone like that. Now, when you had this lack of confidence, this is also someone who you have to be around and you have to be around them at this time. So that's another reason why I'm seeing this is probably someone who you work with. You have to kind of spend time with them. Now. This is this person who likes to show off. They like to say, look at my new outfit, look at my new clothes, look at, I went on holiday, I bought this, I'm this and that. Now, when you had low confidence, you used to feel like um, it really got you down, actually. You felt like, oh, I'm the only one who isn't achieving anything. I'm the only one who's being hopeless. This person's amazing. They've got this and they've got that. And you start to do that when you feel really down about yourself. But at this time, you know, you're getting your confidence back. So you weren't really bothered by this. So this is another sign of you really, really feeling content in yourself, really comfortable in yourself. And, you know, usually, you know, you used to be irritated by this person. You're kind of thinking, oh, who do they think they are? And it's only people who lack confidence that kind of feel like that about other people. Now, you might not have said anything to them, but that's how you're probably feeling. And yes, at this time, you just kind of don't mind if they're like that. You just think, well, they're like that. You might roll your eyes a bit, but it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother you in the same way that used to bother you. That's what I'm seeing. 
The last card you have of your past is the Seven of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing that maybe this is why what was at the beginning of you losing this confidence in the first place. I hate to go back there, you know, when you are feeling much better again, I hate to go all the way back to that again, but I'm really seeing this is probably why. I'm seeing that you probably had someone in your life, now this could have been um, an ex, this could have been a friend that you're with, and you really let your guard down with this person. And what happened was they really stole your confidence and they did that by saying something to you. They came out and said things to you that really kind of caught you off guard. You thought you could really trust them and they came out with something and you really kind of, you're really, really shocked by it and it really took you aback. You're really right, upset, really, really upset more than anyone else who would have said that because you really trusted this person. You might have told them things, you might have confided in this person. So yes, obviously you've drifted apart from that person if, if it was a friend or if this was an ex, you, you obviously broke up with this person. It took you a long, long time to get this confidence back. You might Again, I'm seeing you might have even had some depression going on with you, but um, you did get this back and you know, you're back on track at this time. So the first card you have for your present is the Seven of Pentacles. So yes, more sevens. Sevens can be um, a bit tricky actually. So yes, this love connection that I'm seeing um, in the Ace of Wands. This person really keeps themselves to themselves, I'm seeing actually. There's something that um, they're not quite sure about for some reason. Now it might be that they thought you were kind of blowing hot and cold a bit because you were really um, having that downtime and you just didn't really want to be around them or anyone else really. Um, but they are, they are a very careful person anyway, they're a very cautious person. And it takes them a very, very long time before they actually commit to things, not only in love, but in other ways as well. They're smart, they're intelligent, but they're also very, um, they're kind of a warrior. They overthink things quite a lot. So you might be feeling at this time that maybe they're not interested in you, or maybe that they're not um, putting anything into this connection, um, but you think that you are kind of, but they're not doing that. So there is an imbalance here that I'm seeing. Now, this person, yeah, this person can actually be quite hard work sometimes, but um, I don't think they mean to be. I think they're just an overly cautious person. Now, if they're being like this, and I'm seeing that they are, don't let this, um, don't let this behavior make your confidence go back down again to where it was because you've come so far don't let yourself go backwards again around this person and also I'm seeing that you know they're not doing it on purpose they're not doing it on purpose they're just a very um, cautious person they're just um, you know they're a bit afraid of things not just you they're afraid in all sorts of different situations they really really overthink everything before they get into it that's what I'm seeing so the next card you have your present is the Two of Cups. So yes, again, I'm seeing this person's very intelligent, you have a connection with this person definitely, and um, you have some very deep conversations, some very interesting conversations, and um, there is an attraction there, there's definitely attraction there, but you know, they're a warrior, they're a procrastinator as well, so um, this could just take a long, long time for this to happen, if it ever does, but I'm seeing that it probably will. But um, Yes, it's just going to take a long time. It's just going to take a long time with them. So the last card you have your present is the Nine of Wands. So yes, you did want things to go further with this person. I'm seeing that, but they were really taking their time. Um, but at this time, you might be a little bit, um, you might actually be feeling a little bit fed up, a little bit exhausted, a little bit frustrated with this person. And so that might be making you retract a bit. You might be going back into yourself. Um, but don't don't go back into yourself. Don't start getting depressed. Don't go and st get start getting upset and worried. I'm trying to say, um, start getting all kind of down and losing your confidence again. Um, put some energies into other things that you enjoy. Put some energies into yourself, and you know by the time they come back to you, you'll be ready. You'll be ready at the right time. That's what I'm seeing. But don't lose confidence. I keep on seeing that you're you're likely to lose confidence around this person. You might be thinking that they're not interested in you. They don't like you. 
it isn't that it's the fact that they're just so so cautious it takes it takes them a long long time to decide anything so the first card you have your future is the star so yes again i'm seeing there's hope here i'm seeing there's hope in this situation you probably will get together with them and again i'm seeing this up and down energy going on and you want to try and find balance um, with this person that's what i'm seeing and again i keep on saying you will get together you will come together even if it doesn't feel this way at this time um if you look at this car there's an ibis in the tree behind this beautiful woman and um these birds can really survive under almost any conditions so no matter what conditions you've been through whether you're fed up with them <laughs> whether you've retreated you're finding yourself again you're kind of ignoring them even whether you've been through sadness depression whether they're procrastinating you're you're fed up with them eventually you are going to get back together because this is a connection that's going to withstand any kind of difficulties you go through that's what i'm seeing and you are going to make that connection finally and then you're going to be very strong in that and you're going to gain a lot of strength you're going to be stronger and stronger and stronger that's what i'm seeing this sounds like i'm just trying to put a positive spin on things i'm not i'm really seeing that this is going to happen but when this does happen when you get together with this person they're a frustrating person. I've, I just have to say that they're a frustrating person. They're a procrastinator. It takes them forever to do things. They might be afraid of things. So this is going to always going to be a frustrating thing for you with this person. But on the good side, they're very intelligent. They think about things very deeply and you're going to have some very, very amazing conversations with this person like you already have. So the next card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles. So yes, you're going to you're going to keep this kind of inner confidence even though you're kind of going through these ups and downs with this person and I'm glad you are. I'm glad you are still going to keep your confidence because you really 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 need to hang on to that. You don't want to go back down that old road again that I was seeing in the Ace of Wands um, or the Seven of Swords. So yes, the other thing I'm seeing with this card is that, you know, you have this kind of inner stability and I'm actually seeing someone coming to you. A lot of people are going to come to you and kind of ask for your advice and ask for your help and that kind of thing at this time because you're going to give off this air of stability and confidence. I'm seeing one specific person who's going to come to you. Now, this person's younger than you. This person's going to want to tell you something in confidence. Now, this isn't about keeping secrets at all. It's not that kind of thing. But you're going to have to keep this in confidence. This is something that's quite a serious problem I'm seeing. They're going to be sharing this with you. And, you know, you're going to have to handle whatever this is very carefully, um, very sensitively. Um, this person really trusts you. They see you as a very stable person, a very balanced person, which you are especially at this time and um, the queen of pentacles has both stability and, and sensitivity and that's what you have so you're really going to i'm seeing you're really going to rise to this challenge you're going to handle this really well now this is a very sensitive situation i'm seeing that again and um, this might be something about an accusation they might be making an accusation about someone else so that's why you have to keep um uh, this confidential and it might actually yeah this is something very very serious and this is something very sensitive and very delicate now when you hear about this don't be afraid about this don't be afraid because you're going to be able to handle this very very well I can see that you're going to be really rise to the challenge the last card you have for your future is the page of wands so yes, this person in the Queen of Pentacles really, really looks up to you. Look at the way this page is looking up to the top of this wand. They look up to you. They might be a student. And um, yes, I'm seeing you having to calm this person. You're going to have to calm them. You're going to have to take care of them. And I'm seeing you're kind of going to be stopping their mind from kind of spinning around in circles. Um, if you look at this page, he has salamanders or lizards 
on his tunic, kind of whizzing around, running around, chasing their tails. And they never actually really get anywhere, they're just chasing their tails. So this person's mind's going to be spinning around, not knowing kind of how to organise their mind, they're not going to know kind of what to do first, what to do. You're going to be there helping them, you're going to be giving them clarity, helping them through this and you're going to help them to make some um, very important decisions about something. Now again, don't fear this, don't fear this. You're going to rise to the challenge. This person's really going to appreciate your support and you're going to do really, really well with this. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. Excuse me, I nearly coughed. Oh, I'm gonna cough. But again, <clears throat> excuse me, if you like this reading, oh, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. I'm going to have a coughing fit in a second. I need to go. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye.